work with this crew because I'm never here this early, and, and they're trying to boss me around. No they don't know me very well. <laughs> okay. How are you? Well, I hope you're having a great night. Don't hang up on your hunter. Uh, remember, we have the last 1,000 there. As I mentioned, it would be hard to pick a favorite in this hour of time together, but I'm doing it. As you guys know, I'm not shy, and I love my Roomba, but I am thrilled that they are allowing me do, to do basically the HSN, a, for all intents and purposes, a world launch, because you cannot find what I call the Rolls Royce of Roombas anywhere else. You know, we loved what they have done. And in, in terms of robotic technology, the iRoomba family, they have no peer. I mean, they really don't. But they have engineered this to be not only top of the line, longer battery life, better cleaning, better sensory awareness, which is something I wish they could help me with so they can actually sense if something has changed in a room. So it's on a first come, first serve package. Not only do you get the new room, but, but of course you get that wonderful, uh, the battery charging system, the filters, the longer run battery. You have, of course you get uh, the remote control as well and the little cleaning brush plus your two virtual walls as well but remember first come first serve Allison is it okay if we show the quantity left just real quickly and the reason I point that out is the thousand that we have at least at this point that's for the rest of the year at this point this Roomba is not scheduled to be back for the rest of 2011 and of course we want to hear from you if you have it I told you uh, that we were gonna make history here he is the one and only Tom Wise you're, you're, very you're, nice, you're like Shannon. all dressed up. Look, Look at, at you. You clean up pretty good. I feel like it's, you know, it's the holiday <laughs> season. <laughs> You know, Tom, we've always we've always raved about the iRobot yes. family, and yes. they create the robots, of course, that Absolutely. were used in build, you know buildings on 9/11, on you know on on the moon. I uh, have basically. one right here. I mean, so th th nobody knows how to engineer robotic technology better than this company. It's a robot. This is iRobot. This is the Packbot. You find this in the the field yes. in Afghanistan. You find it protecting soldiers' lives. They put this into the bu into buildings looking for bombs. The soldiers have this working with them side by side, and they're defending and helping the soldiers live. They are out there looking for, for bombs and things right. like this. Very sophisticated technology. iRobot has been around, well, we've been around on Live HSN for more than eight years now. They've taken that same technology that's engineered here and made the ultimate robot. It's the 770 series. Yeah. Have a look at this. We brought in a clear one so you can look at it. This robot is a computer okay. that's actually doing the cleaning for you. It's, a, it's not a toy. Yeah. It's actually a computerized right. robot that actually will vacuum your, your, your floor. One of the major improvements is HEPA technology. They've got two There's HEPA filters. There's a HEPA filter yes. in this? Yes. You've got dual HEPA. See the little yellow squares up there? Dual HEPA filtration to keep the house as clean as possible. 99.7% of anything that's on the floor passes through this will get filtered out with regards to uh, any type of dust particles sure. or allergens and things like that. So remember, yours, we fossilized that one so you could see the, you know, yes. the inner workings. Yours has this beautiful piano key. It looks like a high piece of you know, high-end you know, high electronics. One thing I should point out, and again, we have hundreds of you in the ordering process. You know, this is not only a step up. I should point out that we are very fortunate. It is only because of our partnership that iRobot allowed us to do this. In fact, this is such an exclusive opportunity. You cannot buy it anywhere Correct. else. So those thousand that we have, that is it. At this juncture, that is it for the rest of 2011. That five flex pay, I also want to point out, is only for this show. So when I go on with Lisa Price, uh, basically you don't get that flex pay. So you've got 21 minutes to qualify for that. We're also going to pay to send it to you. I look at it this way for anyone. We were talking about allergies and of course, again, no cure or treatment if you were buying the HEPA, uh, the filtration system from ART. But the truth is, if you do have sensitivity to dust, yep. you've probably been told you shouldn't vacuum. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? You have to clean your home. And here's the brilliant thing about this, Tom. Now it takes that easy goof proof technology doing all the work for you, but it takes that cleaning level to a whole new place. Absolutely. It's a way to evolve. It is. It's time to let the robot do the work for you. It cleans so you don't have to. You're seeing a little bit of the video how this will actually work in your home. Okay. But what you'll do is you'll get this, and I implore you to schedule it. Yes. You've never had anything like this in your entire life. Like an alarm clock, you can schedule the robot to go off at the same time or different times every day of the week. I have this in my home. It is absolutely marvelous. You can have it go off for a, to a predetermined time, or you can hit the button, it'll go off the dock automatically. The dock is included, obviously. This recharges it, plus it calls it home. Then the robot starts to clean. If you've got pets, if you've got 
animals under the bed, if you've got dogs or cats or cats that like to live under the bed, if you've got different types of surfaces, whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, linoleum, it doesn't matter. If it's down there, the robot yeah. will get it. This is, Shannon, I've been offering right. the Roombas for about seven, almost eight years wow. now. Wow. And I've seen them all. This is the seventh generation. This is always yeah. exclusive to HSN. This is by far the top of the line. You it will is. love this robot. Hair, fur, dirt, dust, cereal, coffee, whatever's down there, it'll handle it. It senses the wall. It senses furniture. It senses if, it's in, if it might get tangled in a cord yeah. or a cable or tassels on carpet. It doesn't matter. Plus, you can schedule this. Maybe you leave the house every day for 8 o'clock. Yeah. Right? You come home, the whole house is clean, three, four rooms. The robot is back at the docking station, and the robot is charging itself up. All done yeah. automatically. And the next day, it will do the same thing while you're gone. If you've got cats and dogs, it will. Fur, food, so, whatever's down there. You know what? We know that we, we literally have millions of Roomba fans out there. And, of course, we want to hear from you. But if you want to do your own side-by-side -side test. That. Oh, well, it just, no, wait a minute. The electrical cord, it didn't harm it. And then it also went under that small little end table. In spaces you haven't cleaned maybe in years, like Whoa. under the bed, under the table like this. It goes down there. It will also map out the room, and it wants to clean the entire room three, four times, and then before it goes back to the docking it, station. It does. And so tangled. remember, there, there are no obstacles that this cannot, you know, work navigate. around. Navigate. Mm -hmm. Navigate, exactly. There are no challenges that this can't meet. One thing that I should point out, too, just from, an, from a, a visual perspective, it looks like Roomba is picking up more on Absolutely. the first pass than it used to. And the battery lasts longer. They're using better battery technology, so the, ladder, the battery lasts longer and stays at a higher level for a longer time. This is absolutely top of the line. They've re-engineered the robot from the bottom up. It's a computerized robot that actually sweeps and vacuums your floor for you. See how, right. how, it, how it reads that little, yeah. uh, that little sheet? It does. It doesn't see it as a hard surface. It touches it, reads it, and goes through it right. so it can get the rest of the dog fur that's sure. underneath the bed. Which, nor with the, which the previous series would not. So absolutely. again, they have engineered it to make it better and better. Remember, less than $100 on your credit card. Wow. That flex pay d good only and only for this airing. So you've got basically 15 minutes to qualify for it, and you really should try it. I know with the holidays coming up, this means freedom. Think of all the hours in your day that this is going to free up. But most importantly, it gets things that you can't. It gets things that you don't see because you're not vacuuming under the bed. In fact, if you've got a toddler in the home, you know very well that two-second rule. And God forbid if there's something left on the carpet or something that was left astray, you know, the first thing that happens is anything goes in the mouth. This finds all of that. It is more complete. It is Absolutely. more thorough. And it does a better job than anything. Let me, I, I know we're going to go to the phones in a moment, but Tom, talk about the next demonstration yes. that the room is going to do. This is perhaps a pet area. We've got little bird seed feathers. We've got cat litter down there. I've got more fur and food. We've also integrated the virtual wall here. Oh, yeah. With, without putting up a border, I've got the virtual wall activated, so the robot that's currently working in the bedroom will stay in the bedroom. I'll press this button twice, and this robot will stay on the hardwood floor and go for the cat litter and go for that fur and then stays in the particular area. So yeah. you can have two if you want to work in at the same time. Or ideally, the virtual wall is there to keep the robot in the area that you want it to claim. It's perfect. It, You're also looking at some certain things that we're talking about with the uh, longer lasting battery, persistent passing, where it will go back and forth in the same area in a different fashion than it typically has in the past. It's absolutely phenomenal the, the way that the robot works. It, it's, it's pure genius. We are going to head to our phones, and this time to Indiana. Eugene. Hi, Eugene. Welcome to HSN. It's Tom and Shannon. How are you? Hello, Tom and Shannon. I'm doing just fine tonight. Well, good. So we hear that you, you, you really got a jump start on the competition. We actually hear that you've already had a chance to use the new Roomba. I've had mine for about a month now. Okay. The fourth Roomba that I've had. And it's by far the best one I've ever owned, the Model 780. Oh, wow. So... You sound like me, Eugene. I've, I've got other Roombas, but I haven't tried this one yet. How, why is this one better than what you've used in before? This has got the most powerful motor in it that you could ever imagine. It picks up everything off the floor that you could uh, spill on the floor. Last night I spilled some catnip on the floor by accident. <laughs> and the thing went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it was all picked up. Oh, wow. And catnip is really fine. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it even saw those really baby fine particles? Yes, it did. Oh, wow. So, Eugene, if anybody's on the fence, because I, certainly we've offered other Roombas in the past, tell, what is your life like now that you've got the new Roomba? Well, I don't come home until 8 o'clock at night, and the Roomba's clean, already cleaning the house when, I'm, um, when I get home. 
and it just makes my life a lot simpler. It and does. An hour after I'm, after I get home, the Roomba stops cleaning, goes back to his docking, to his docking station, and it's there until the next night. And just simplifies, simplifies my life an awful lot. It, it does indeed. Well, well said. Eugene, I'm so glad you could take time out of your night to say hi to us. Uh, please continue to enjoy, and thanks for stopping by HSN. Thank you very much for helping have me. Thank you, Eugene. Thanks, nice to have you here. Uh, but you can see, now I will tell you, we have so many of you in the ordering process. This is Tom's only airing. And Absolutely. remember, that flex pay is only good for this show. So if you love the Roomba, I mean, you owe it to yourself to try it. You've got 15 minutes to qualify for that flex pay. And remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, what I love is Eugene said he owned the other Roombas, but this is by far and above. It is superior to anything else he's ever tried. You've got a month to try it as you buy it. Why not give it a, an opportunity to really go to work for you? And like Eugene said, if you're a shift worker like I am, because like I said, this is very early for me to be here. Normally, I'm getting home around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I want to come home to a clean house. And Roomba is going to do all of the work for you. Best of all, though, you don't have to worry about, okay, are the kids' toys picked up? Or do exactly. I have the blocks put away? Or do I, I mean, which you used to have to worry about with the other Roomba. It integrates iAdapt technology. I'll turn this one on as well, Shannon, by pressing it twice. You'll notice a couple of things. This is kind of a textured floor where you've got some low spots yeah. and some high spots. Yeah. It doesn't matter what's down there. We also have the little corner piece, which is only about three and a half inches off the ground. So that means it can go underneath the, the cabinets every single day. You also have the technology that allows it to read any type of transition like this, and it knows it's not a wall, but it knows it's a transition, so it knows it will go over that, but it will also stop at a wall. Plus, if I take a chair, you know, I get up in the morning, okay. have my breakfast, right? Yeah. The chair ends up somewhere. Yep. Well, the robot will read the chair, adapt sure. to its new surroundings, right. and it will, okay, I got a little chair there, I know what to do, and I'll continue to clean, but I know that the chair's there, right. and I'll continue to clean in that area. It now, literally sees it. It sees it, and it also hears it. You've yeah. got the iAdapted, which is different than the previous models. You're seeing and hearing the dirt, and you're also seeing and, and seeing exactly where you are in the room. It, you are indeed. So uh, in a moment, we are going to go to our phones, but I do really want everybody to realize that quantity that we have remaining, that is it for the rest of the year. Actually, it seems like our caller, you know, wanted to come back <laughs> and get this one uh. if they've got a previous one. Remember, uh, the, that quantity that we have is what we have for the rest of 2011. Wow. The flex pay is good only for this show. So why not give it a try? You know, you think of all the applications. You, you know, if you've got a new baby at home, this makes so much sense. It's one less thing that you have to worry about. Also, from a parent's point of my er, perspective, it's nice to know that everything on that floor is going to be picked Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Plus, I just like the idea, especially with the holidays coming up, you're going to have a busy enough holiday season now that the kids are back in school. It's one less thing you have to worry about. I mean, basically, it's like having a personal housekeeper at your beck and call 24 no hours a day. No doubt about that. You can schedule this. If you've got a, a, an, elderly, an elderly parent somewhere and you wish that they, you could you know, take care of them a bit more, yeah. you can schedule this to go off every day at 9 o'clock, so at least the house is going to be clean. Here's something brand new. It's called persistent pass cleaning. Okay. You know, with your vacuum cleaner, you go back and forth. Right. Now, if the robot detects a soiled area, okay. it will go back and forth oh, like the like regular we vacuum would. cleaner. Absolutely. Now, oh. I've, also, <laughs> I've also activated both virtual walls. Okay. So this robot is staying in this area here, yeah. and I've got this virtual wall sending a little beam so it's going to get close to the beam and okay. then stay in the area. Maybe there's a hallway. You don't want the robot to go in a different room. This is sending a beam. You'll get both beams. Wow. You're going to get four HEPA filtration filters wow. because two come installed and you get two spares. Then I've got the pet area, also with some difficult transitions, yeah. and also wow. with the virtual wall, the oh robot is staying in this area. It's hugging yeah. the virtual wall. It's transitioning from a hardwood to a tile. There you see carpet. Virtually all the cat litter is gone. Yeah. All the fur that was on the white is gone. Right. All the dog food, except for two little pieces, is right. gone here as well. Well, and I love what Eugene said, too, is, you know, catnip. And if anybody's, you know, anyone with cat, catnip is very, very fine. I mean... I, I wouldn't see it if I were vacuuming. I wouldn't. No I mean, way. if I were vacuuming my home and, you know, I spilled some catnip on the floor, I wouldn't see it. But even Eugene said it found it. So my whole point is it finds things that you won't. It filters the air at the same time yep. because for the first time ever it has two, it has two built-in HEPA filtration systems. It cleans more efficiently. It cleans better. 
It runs longer. It is the Elite. It is quite simply the Rolls Royce. It's the top of the line. We will pay to send it to you. It's less than $100 on your credit card only for this show. And as a friendly reminder for you, those 1,000, those 1,014, give or take, that we have, that is it for the rest of the year. So I definitely recommend that you try it. Tom, it looks like you've got some more uh, sure. demonstrations here. I'll, I'll probably trade places with you here. So, By the way, uh, I want to also mention it has a remote control yeah. with it as well. When would you use a remote control? Let's say it's halftime and you got crumbs all over the front right. of the couch. You can actually direct the robot to go to the front of the couch yeah. and then make a single pass and then stop and go back to the docking right. station. Or if there's a big mess, you can hit the spot button. It'll clean a big circle and I then like go it. back to the docking station. Absolutely phenomenal. It is. Okay, so Tommy, what are we going to do next? All right, what I want to do, everybody who ever watched the demonstrations, they think it's a toy or <laughs> right. it just gets the surface stuff and it does a nice job. We decided to compare it against a five horsepower indoor outdoor vacuum cleaner. Okay. Right? I'll turn it on. It's going to get a little louder there, even All though right. we've got three vacuum cleaners going okay. already. And here's how this thing works. Okay. It will make the sand disappear very, very easily. Right? Exhibit A, we've got a very powerful vacuum cleaner. Now, we're going to take a little bit of a sand and put it on a sand colored carpet. There you go. Watch the sand disappear. If you lived on the beach or you vacation to the beach, you know the sand goes in and it disappears very, very quickly. And after a couple of days, you can't even see it. And if you were vacuuming normally or regularly, you'd say to yourself, well, this area looks clean. Let me find something else to do. That would be a huge mistake because we all know that glass is made out of sand. Sand will cut and etch the fibers. Watch this. I'll take that five horsepower indoor outdoor vacuum cleaner and I'll vacuum the sand colored carpet. By the way, we're looking at, at the state of the art technology. Nobody builds anything even close to this. I would compare anything that's even similar to like a toy. This is a sophisticated robot. This is the 770 series, completely exclusive to HSN, and nobody has an offer like this. So here you're looking at it. Inside, don't forget, you're going to have the two HEPA filtration filters. You're going to get two additional ones along with those two. You never buy bags, by the way. It's a complete bagless system. I snap this into position. You're cleaning three different ways. You've got the side brush, the asymmetrical brush, and then you've got a vacuum that sits on top of the brushes, making sure all the fur and hair that it sucks up gets drawn in off the brushes and into the oversized bin. All I do at this juncture is hit the button and let the robot do the work for me. Evolve. It's time that you let the robot do the work for you so you're doing something else. You can schedule it to do all the cleaning for you on a regular basis. Every Tuesday at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., 7 a.m., it doesn't matter. And when you come back, the vacuuming's done, the fur is up, the cat litter's gone, and the robot is sitting back at the docking station, recharging, waiting for its next time out. There you see a perfect way that does the persistent pass. Watch this. Sees a little bit of something, it cleans it, and it moves on. Now here's how it's going to be set up in your house. You'll have the dock under the bed perhaps, maybe up against the wall. The robot is charging automatically. It will go off at a scheduled time or if you press the button, it'll go off the dock, it'll back up, it'll start looking for stuff to clean. If it's on a hardwood or a carpeted area, it doesn't matter, it'll clean. It'll transition automatically. You don't have to stop it or set it for hardwood or tile or linoleum. It'll go under places that gives it about three and a half inches of clearance or more. If you've got a uh, sunken living room or stairs, it's got clip sensor technology. It will sense the edge, won't go off, keeps on using the brushes. The scheduling technology makes everything nice and clean. When it's all done, it will go back to the dock, or you can press the button, it'll go back to the dock. It used to be all extra. Yeah. The docking station, the extra recharging, rapid charging batteries used to all cost more, but now it's all integrated channel. Well, and that's what's so brilliant. You know, you know what I love about this company, Tom, is to be fair, they could have just done nothing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because they already made the best robotic vacuum in the world. They already did a better job than anybody else. Look at that. But what I think, I mean, so it does it all automatically. That's and crazy. that's one of the things that Eugene mentioned as well. He said, I don't have to think about anything. I mean, imagine a world where you don't ever have to think about vacuuming your floors. I mean, you really don't. You know, in the past, we loved what Roomba did, but maybe you weren't using it for some of your bigger pickups. Maybe you weren't using it for some of your harder jobs. You absolutely can put this to task because now for the first time ever, uh, that's why we show you what, the pack, pack bot. What is it called? The, the pack bot. The You're pack correct, bot. Christina. That's why we show you the pack bot because 
That, I don't even want to know how expensive that thing is. I don't know how you got permission to bring it in here. I, because I know what military... It's, a, it's actually a very amazing. It, because important. you know what military budgets are like, so you could only imagine how yes. much... I mean, but they put that kind of technology exactly. into something that's going to clean your home. And basically, that's what iRobot did, Tom, is they, they really... They basically re-engineered what was always already successful, right? Absolutely. This is they've, they've started from the bottom up, and they put things in here. Better battery life, better, uh, more power. You're looking at HEPA infiltration, new cleaning head. It's all lo longer lasting. Then you've got persistent, pin, uh, persistent pass technology. It even tells you when the, the, when the bin is full. This robot is making 60 decisions every single second and deciding yeah. what to do, where to go. 60 decisions every single second. You're I looking. can't make one decision <laughs> every second. If we can go down here, maybe see, look at all the four floors and end up okay. by the sand. Sounds Over good. here, you're looking at this robot going through the bedroom. It's negotiating, na navigating around uh, end tables underneath the bed. It also will no navigate around the tassels and the cords and the cables. We also have the virtual wall separating these two areas. This robot is cleaning the pet area with uh, all sorts of you know, cat, cat litter, litter fur, yep, for, yeah. food bird seed. Okay. This robot is also cleaning in the kitchen, kind of on a difficult surface, plus it's got to navigate around the chair because it has iAdapt technology. It can see, it can hear dirt, plus yeah. it can navigate and negotiate around things, obstacles in the room. Yeah. It's not like a preset pattern. It's actually seeing the room. Then, over yep. here, pardon me, miss. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about power, you saw the demonstration. I started with the five horsepower indoor outdoor vacuum cleaner. You saw how powerful it was take, picking up the sand. Then we put a little sand down on the indoor outdoor, uh, excuse me, on the, on the carpet. And then we let the five horsepower vacuum cleaner go first. Then the Roomba went second. You yeah. saw that the bin was empty before we started. Yep. Look, at all, look at all this sand that the robot found after the five horsepower indoor outdoor cleaner went first. This is amazing. Imagine all the stuff that's down on your floors that you haven't cleaned in a long, long time. The robot goes in areas you've been cleaning in a long, long time, under the bed, gets stuff down that's down low, yeah. cleans arguably better than your current vacuum cleaner because it's just going to keep on going mathematically it, and fundamentally it does is. a better job. One thing I should mention, the FlexPay is expiring now. Wow. Also, this is Tom's last show. So this was his one and only show. We did the world right. launch, kind of like a one-off, if you will. And we have the last 900. So final 900. And those are the final quantities for the year. So that is it as far as we know for the rest of 2011 awesome gift for yourself. If you're going to invest in this technology, remember, this is something that is going to vacuum for you for the rest of your life. And you, like Eugene said, it's one less thing that you have to worry about. Well, Tom, I'm impressed. I hope you have someplace great yeah. to go. <laughs> <laughs> All dressed, All dressed up. up. Nice. I loved it. Mike, just being with you, Shannon. Oh, well see. Thank you Thanks for your help as always, My Tom. Pleasure. All right, don't hang up on your Roomba, guys. Remember, those are the last 900 for the rest of the year. Of course, our HS on Arcade is open for business. In fact, you can check out our jigsaw puzzle and see if you can be a winner. In fact, you can even challenge yourself and your friends as well. Well, I've got much more to come. In fact, we have Lisa Price, her last show of the visit. I have a this day only that is going to rock your world. But we have tasty treats with a little peek at our quick buy with some David's cookies for you to consider. But come on back. Carol's daughter with the last show is next.